Okay, let's do our warm ups and see what we can do to open across the chest. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Activate your core for some support on your spine. Lengthen through that spine and inhale your arms to shoulder length. Exhale, hands to your heart. Keep those elbows pulling back to keep the chest open. Inhale, arms out to the front. And then bring your hands behind you. Clasp them and press toward the floor as you lift your heart. Feel that chest open and that spine lengthen. Exhale, pivot at your hips, come on over. Chin moving, letting the neck release a little. Hands toward your head, get those shoulders working. And then bend your knees slightly. Lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, wind from the bottom of the spine into the back bend, just gently lifting your heart. Keep stretching out through the base of the skull, low crunching on that neck. And take a couple breaths, spread your toes. Inhale up, release your arms, and just feel your body. Remember that inner focus, that's your yoga. And again, arms are reaching out. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp behind you, fingers the opposite way. Hands to the floor, chest toward the ceiling, head stretching back, and then pivot over as you exhale. And again, deepen as much as your legs would like, lifting your sitting bones, letting the legs stretch along the hamstrings. And once more with the knees slightly bent, pointing you away from the bottom of the spine all the way into the back bend. And again, as much or as little as you need today, spreading out through the toes, not gripping. Inhale upright, release your arms. Focus inward, feel that energy beginning to expand. And stretch it. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Cuss them in class, bring them back by your ears. So arms by your ears, sitting bones down, crown reaching up, everything facing forward as you lean to one side, and open the ribs. Push the foot, you're leaning away from down, reach out through your head and your hands. And then inhale upright, and switch your hands. And again, arms by your ears, everything's stretching and straight as you lean to the opposite side. Feel that lateral spine motion as you push your foot down, stretch out through the ribs. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Inhale up, exhale, and release. Shoulders back and down, and spine stretching apart for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, Hands above your shoulders and clasp your elbows. Bring your arms next to your ears and your shoulders and shoulder blades and sitting bones down and stretch the crown up. Exhale into your twist. Weight on both feet evenly as you stretch and pivot over. Deepen as much as you like, spread your toes. Exhale any tension. Just allow your body to go wherever it needs to in this twist. And then inhaling, work your way up, stay in the twist into the upper body for your back bend, shoulders down. And just stretch it out, lifting your heart. Inhale upright, exhale to the center, switch your arms around, and again, pull them back by your ears. Keep that chest and shoulder area open. Stretch your spine apart and exhale, twisting the other direction. A breath in and then exhale over. Just relax, lift the sitting bones, keep the arms by your ears. And when you're ready on an inhalation, stay in the twist all the way up into that upper body back bend. Shoulders down, elbows back, chest high. And don't forget to keep breathing. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, arms coming into extended mountain, shoulders down. And then palms out, right at shoulder level, stretch those arms out, pivot at your hips, 
chest leading into that pivot. Reach halfway down and then drop into ragdoll. Let that lower back get a good stretch. Slide your hands up under your knees on your shins. Halfway up, stretch. Everything straightening. And exhale back down. Palms together, inhaling. Bring them to your heart. Let's go all the way toward the ceiling, looking at your hands. Pull them back behind you, lifting your heart. Nice upper body back bend. Chest high. Stretch out through your neck. Exhale, hands to your heart, and into mountain pose. Circle those shoulders back and down a couple of times, and release. Bring your arms to shoulder level. Bend your elbows, fingertips together. Keep the elbows at shoulder level. Then pull the elbows back, open right across that chest, and fingertips together. Arms out and coming all the way around as far as you want to go. You don't have to go that far if it doesn't go that far. And then fingertips back together. Keep the elbows at shoulder level, pulling back and fingertips together. And then reaching way out and circling those arms. And one more time. Pull it back and reach around. And back fingertips together, and then palms together, and reach your fingers out, and then reach the fingers toward you, lifting the elbows. And then clasp your fingers, bring your hands under your chin, and your elbows in toward each other in front of you. Try to do angel breath. So sink evenly into your feet, spread your toes, sitting bones down, core active. And then as you inhale, Lift your head, bring your elbows up and out as you inhale and fill the lungs looking up. Keep stretching through the back of the neck. Exhale and blow out as you come back into that starting position. So inhaling, angel wings spreading and opening through the heart. Exhale, coming back into that upright position. And then one more time, inhale, lifting your wings and extending your heart. And exhaling back together. And release your arms back into mountain pose, shoulders releasing. Turn your toes slightly out. You're going to bring the shoulder across toward the opposite knee. So bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes. Hands about your knees, just positioning. Bring your shoulder across, twisting. Turning your whole body toward the side as you bring that shoulder down and forward. Hips going back behind you. Just whole body journey, not just moving your shoulder, but moving your whole body. And then exhale, turn back to the center, to the starting point, and go the other direction. Shoulder coming across, whole body turning to the side. So keep that spine stretching apart as you go. Take a breath, pull over hips, ribs, and shoulder, turning to the side. And then again, back to the center, round your spine, and slowly come back up. And again, into mountain pose, toes to the front, everything re-straightening. Bring your hands behind onto your shoulder blades, heels of the palms off the shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips. Elbows moving toward each other, feeling that chest area expand. Keep that nice gentle pressure on your lower back. Keep your hips above your ankles. And then lift your heart as you look up and push your head slightly back. Remember, no crunching the neck. Don't lift your chin too hard. Take a breath. Just feel that whole chest area opening. Breathe into it. Lengthen a little bit further through the spine. And then chin toward your chest, releasing your hands, coming back into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feeling what's going on through your whole upper body. Bring your arms out to shoulder level, thumbs into your palms, fingers wrap gently around, one up and one down. Push out through those fists, up through the crown. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist, turn the fists the other way. So one is up, one is down. Keep pushing out and keep rotating, one up and one down. And then a little bit more into that whole 
lower forearm area going with the fists, one up and down. And then bring the upper arms into it. Keep pushing out through the fists. Keep the head reaching out to the sitting bones, shoulder blades down. And then really get your shoulders moving with it. So as you push the fist down, the shoulder comes forward and then the other direction as it goes up. And just bring it all the way into the spine as you're doing that, getting a real good massage going across that shoulder, upper body area as you push those fists away. And then releasing the shoulders in the back, just the arms moving. And then just the lower arms and fists. And then just the fists up and down. And then tighten the fists. Just push straight out those fists facing the floor. Those fists pushing away. Shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. And up toward the ceiling. Push it way, way, way out. Tighten those fists a little bit more. And then like the National Geographic time lapse flowers, just one petal at a time. Let those fingers release. Stretch them out. And as they get further and further out, just keep stretching it out, stretching, stretching, stretching. Tip the hands out, reach them up toward the sun and the sky, and shake it all out. And feel that circulation through your upper body. Bring your shoulders back and down, and your hands to your Look at your hands, inhale them toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs again, a nice upper body back bend, as deep as you want. Exhale, pivot over, hands to your heart, pivoting at the hips, drop your hands into ragdoll. Pull in a little deeper, hands behind your legs, head toward your legs, and then release the hands to ragdoll. Bend your knees and come to the floor, Bend you. Child's pose, hands, palms up, forehead down. Take a moment, hips on your heels, or a little bit up, you can pad if you need to for your knees. And just take a moment and breathe. And then sitting up on your heels, we're gonna do a couple versions of a hard opener here. So the first version, we're gonna bring the hands, fingertips toward your knees, on the floor and just press into your palms under your shoulders on the floor, leaning back, hips on your heels. You know, you can pad if you need to. And then lift your heart and look up, not back, just up. So you're not crunching the back of your neck. Don't lift the chin too high. And then push your chest forward and up slightly and then into that supported version of a little baby camel. So. Chest high, shoulders down, shoulder blades toward your waist, head reaching back away. And don't crunch your neck, don't lift the chin too high. Feel the heart, feel the chest, and then chin toward your chest and pivot pushing up, back into your kneeling position. And then we're gonna do another version. So bring your hands again on your lower back, elbows toward each other, fingertips down toward your hips, heels of the palms about your shoulder blade area, and just nice firm support in that lower back area. Elbows toward each other, chest expanding, and look slightly up. And just come into, again, that little back bend as much or as little as your body wants. Feel that whole heart area opening, breathing with it, really lifting the chest, the heart, and not crunching the neck, remember, don't lift the chin too high. Hands pressing just gently into your back. And then again, chin toward your chest, release your hands, pin it on over, get a good stretch on the back of your body where you were back bending. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale and tension. Feel that whole back of your body expand. And then inhale, sitting up. You've got a mat, you can fold your mat and look like we're gonna go up on our knees. So put that folded part under your knees or you can put a cushion or something here. 
And we're going to come up into kneeling position for another version of a cam. So hips over your knees, and again, hands on your lower back for support, elbows once more toward each other. Knees about hip width apart, toes either straight back or slightly toward each other. And then with the elbows going toward each other and hands pressing into your low back, again, lift your heart and look up. Head stretching back, don't crunch the neck. Breathe. Just keep those hips right above the knees and stretch your head back toward your ankles, toward your toes. Feel that support on your back. Feel that upper body expanding. Feel those shoulders going back. And then shin toward your chest, releasing. And again, sinking back and down into a nice little forward bend in Charles pose. Take a breath there again. Just relax. And then inhale, you can sit up. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do the full camel this time. So if you like the supported version, it's a perfectly good version. It's a nice chest expansion and support for your lower back. But if you want to go a little further, we're going to do that as well if you choose to. So remember, personal practice, what's right for your body. Hips over your knees, either support Oh, that, yeah, let's everybody start supporting. So support on your lower back, elbows toward each other. And again, lifting your heart and looking up. This time, we're going to reach one hand back toward your heel. Now, if your heel is too low and you can't reach it, you can tuck your toes under onto the ball of your foot, base of the toe area, not the toes themselves. So you can reach your heel a little bit easier. So hold your heel just on one side. And then bring that hand back to your back. And then do the other one. And if you don't need those heels up, you can go a little further back and do that. And then hands back to your back. So you can keep doing that single version, or you can do both hands back to your heels. So again, you can tuck under and reach the hands. And then keep the hips pushing forward, over the knees, chest lifting. Remember, don't crunch your neck too much. Don't lift the chin too high. If you don't need the heels up, you can bring the feet down to the floor. Take a breath. Do what's right for your body, maximizing that heart opening. When you're ready to release, bring your hands back to your back if you aren't still supported. Release the toes if you have them under. And again, sink your hips back onto your heels. And come all the way over into child's pose. And just relax. And chin out as you exhale. So feel that back of your heart area stretching open. And then bring your mat back into flat position. Bring your arms out in front. We'll come up on your hands and elbows. So spread those fingers forward. Elbows right under your shoulders, knees and hips lined up with the toes straight back from them. And we're going to do a couple more chest and shoulder openers here. So pivot your left hand behind your right elbow, slide the right hand forward, and you'll feel that shoulder area, armpit area start stretching. And then push your hips back toward your heels behind you. And bring your forehead toward your forearm or further toward the floor if you like that stretch. So just go as deeply into that opening through the shoulder area as you feel appropriate for you. Remember, personal practice. Exhale any tension. And then inhale, lifting your head. Bring your elbow back under your shoulder. Pivot the other one out. And just feel the difference between your two shoulders. Lift your ribs, stretch that spine. Exhale, lengthening through the spine. And we're going to bring the right elbow behind the left one. And again, slide the left hand forward, opening the shoulder, push the hips back toward the heels. And again, bring your forehead either toward your arm or the floor for that shoulder opening. Take a breath. Exhale, any tension. 
Go only as far as your body needs. Hand is planted so you get a good stretch through that arm, shoulder, shoulder, armpit area. It's going straight back toward your heels. And again, as you stretch, just relax. Just deepening for your body. And then inhale your head back up, elbow and hand back into place. And again, just feel your body. Notice how that feels for you. Stretch your spine, lengthening, sitting bones and crowns, stretching apart, shoulder blades towards your waist. Activate that core a little bit. And we're going to slide forward. So bring your chest toward your hands, hips high, coming into puppy. So your puppy tail is in the air. Just wag it around if you want to. You can bring your chest all the way to the floor if that feels like that would be useful. Feeling that chest expand, shoulder blades towards your waist. And then pushing into your forearms, lifting your body, pushing back, hips all the way to your heels. Get a good stretch through that whole upper body and as you come into that healing position. And again, slide your hands back and sit up on your heels. Feel the heart a little bit more open. And then slide off your heels, bringing your feet all the way to the end of the mat. Knees and toes up, pressing out through the bottoms of your feet. Chest open, core activated into staff position, shoulders relaxing back and down. Keep that core working for you as you slowly lower your body onto the mat. And take a moment, just recline integration, getting everything relaxed. We're going to go into fish position. So another chest expansion. Bring your hands next to you, palms down. Put your thumbs under your hips. And then bring your elbows in towards your sides. And then press into your hands and forearms and bring your upper body up. So the whole chest is lifting. Elbows and forearms and hands are supporting you. And then lift your heart and look up. And then if you can, tip your head further back. This may crunch the back of your neck. Just do it what's right for you. See if you can bring the crown of your head down toward the floor or all the way to the floor. Lifting your heart the whole time. Ribs up, chest up, shoulders back and down. And crown toward the ceiling. So if you get your head all the way on the floor and you want to, you can release the hands and just from your sitting bones to your head, be arched up in that. And you can bring your fingertips together into prayer position with the heels of the palms on your chest. Lift your heart, stretch your head. You got up onto that without your hands and your back was a mistake. Bring them back down and just give yourself some support. So shoulder blades toward your waist, whichever position you're in, just lifting, shoulders dropping down toward the floor, keeping that heart nice and open. Take a breath, just relaxing. And as your hands are up, bring them back down, press into your forearms and elbows, lift your head, chin toward your chest, and then from the bottom of your spine, connect it to the floor, Rolling your whole upper body back down. As you get into your relaxed position, bring your arms out to T position. Take a moment and breathe. Exhaling tension. And then sitting bones toward your heels, bring your right leg up toward the ceiling. We're going to roll all the way to the left side. Bring your foot down and your hands together on the floor. Don't forget, keep your head on the floor. Don't overstrain your neck. Hold your foot or your leg with your left hand, right arm above your shoulder, and move into your twist, bringing that back of the hand down toward the floor, right at shoulder level behind you as you look at that hand. So neck area twist for that neck turning, foot and hand together or leg together and pushing away. That's the lower back twist, and of course that heart opening middle back twist as your shoulder comes down toward the floor. So your hand may not make it to the floor, that's okay. Just go wherever it needs to. Gravity flow it brings you deeper when you're ready. Take a breath. Just release any tension, let it go. 
And then to release that twist, just let go of your leg or hand or your leg or foot, roll onto your back. Flex the heel, use your core for support, and lower that foot to the floor. As it gets back down, just recenter and get ready to twist to the other side. Again, sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, and left leg coming up. You can bend it to bring it up or just keep it straight. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, hands or palms up, or rolling head on the floor, foot coming all the way down to the right side, and hands together in front of you. Hold the foot if you can, or the leg with your right hand, left hand to the ceiling, and then lower it behind you toward the floor into your twist as you look at it. And again, deepen into that twist for the parts of your spine that want it and need it. If the arm is in the air, just let it hang out there, letting gravity release as you exhale and relax through the ligaments of your spine. As they do, you'll get deeper into your twist as much as your body is ready to go. Just let it happen. Don't force it. Deep breaths, just relaxing. Enjoying your twist as you're ready. And of course, you'll hold those twists longer on your own. But for now, just release your foot or leg. Roll up and flex the heel. Keep that core working as you slowly lower your leg to the floor. And then as it gets all the way down, you can come into the course position for our final relaxation. Hands, palms up near your hips, slightly away from your side. Let those shoulders and shoulder blades sink into that surface beneath you. Hands, palms up, letting that chest and heart stay open. Toes toward each other, and then just release that lower body and let it relax. Soften your face, move your head, and neck and jaw. Let everything release and relax. Your body just heavy. Sinking deep into that earth support, let it go. No need to hold any tension or tightness anywhere in your body. Just focus the breath into the tightness, let it relax. Feel those shoulders drop even further toward the mat. Deep breaths, let your body go. As you release awareness of your body, just allow any thoughts that come to you to release as well. Remember, it's a job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. So let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. And as your breath deepens and your body softens and sinks, and your mind eases and releases and floats, just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Let the thoughts go. Let your body go. And just take a few moments and be peace. And of course, you can keep relaxing as long as you have opportunity today. But if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day now, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment of the room to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you. Stretching more fully as you breathe and stretch. And when you're ready for your I will yoga hug of appreciation. Bring your sitting bones toward your heels, and your heels toward your hips. Draw your knees up toward your heart. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Bring your arms around, however feels good for you today. Give a good stretch on your back. 
And let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you. Thanks for joining me.